What's going on people, it's KC from www.kc-sans.com So today's video I'm going to show you how to change the tempo of your session without affecting the audio files So if like me, sometimes you might get someone send you a mix and they've recorded their song at a different BPM and then when you try to put delays on the vocals or whatever it is you're, you're doing everything sounds out of sync because of the timings of the BPMs and the delays and the BPM of the actual session is just to sort off. So yeah, with this trick here, it will just make your life so much more easier. Um, and I, I use this all the time. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I've got the session and straight away I can see that the first kick comes in after 12. So that's how I know it's out of sync. Normally the first kick will come after, after the intro unless the producer's gone for a longer intro but I just feel like it's out of sync I can just tell by looking that it's out of sync it's so let's just play this quickly and see uh, with the metronome on and you can hear it so straight away you can tell it should be two, 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 three, four. so that's off if you throw the BPM counter on there and get, get to a part where it's got the kicks and stuff. It's off. Um, what's the BPM counter saying? Saying 128. Right, so at 120, this is how it sounds. I'm a bar back, I'm a bar back, I'm on the top now, try to top that, take a I change it to 128. Here we go. Yeah, I'm a bar back, I'm a bar back, I'm on the top now, try to It's off, you can see, you can hear that it's off, it's all off, it's all over the place. So it's not it's not the artist's fault at all. It's just how it goes sometimes. So what we can do is highlight everything, right click, lock simply position. I forget what Simpty stands for. Uh, if you go and Google, you can just put Simpty in and it will definitely it will give you your answer. Um, I'll change the tempo now uh, to 128. And if you notice everything is still locked in place, you can hear it, it's all in place. Yeah. I'm a bar back, I'm a bar back, I'm on the top now, try to top that, take a jump shot, and a bar back, and just... Uh, go back to 120. I'm a bar back, I'm a bar Everything's right because it's locked. And then you unlock it and go back to 128. Yeah, I'm a bar back, I'm a bar back, I'm on the top now, try to It's off. So just to quickly go through it again, highlight everything. Right click any of the files, locks empty, change your tempo and you're good to go. That's just a nice simple technique on how to do things. How you can change your, the tempo without affecting all your, your audio files. I hope you got something from this quick tip. If you did, hit that like and subscribe. I appreciate that. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as well. There's I put lots loads of stuff on my story, like little tips that I don't sometimes get to put on YouTube. So yeah, hit me up on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace. <laughs>